Ooh, that looks fancy. Microsoft Game Studios. Am I playing Halo? Oh, wait. I recognize this graphic. You probably recognize it too. Oh, Digital Anvil. Oh, I remember that company. Hmm. It was the 23rd century. Mankind's darkest hour. For so long, no one could remember the reason why it all started in the first place. All we knew is that there were two sides, the Coalition and the Alliance. For decades, millions died for the same piece of rock again and again. Finally, one side managed to gain the upper hand, the Coalition. launched five sleeper ships. The hope was for them to begin again far from the war and strife that had befallen Earth, to start free from the prejudices that had divided us for so long. Each sleeper ship was christened after its patron nation. The Britonia, the Rhineland, the Hispania, the Casari, the Liberty. ships broke through the coalition blockade and headed for the Sirius system. That was 800 years ago when we came here to rebuild our lives. We've come a long way since then. We have grown. We have prospered. We have flourished. But we will never forget. And neither will you. So come and let's play Freelancer! Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome to my next main Let's Play series. Yeah, so this is a continuation of Star Lancer. This is a sequel to the Star Lancer game because you might remember the terms Alliance and Coalition and you can see what's going on there. This is an interesting game in that... It's interesting in that there's a lot more exploration that happens. You know, Freelancer means basically somebody that just is kind of like a hired gun, you know, a hired mercenary. And mercenary is not the right term, but they're basically a, somebody that's for hire, you know. So that's 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 kind of the point of this game. There's a lot of exploration we can do in between the different missions, and I'm gonna do a lot of that as we go along. But I'm very excited about bringing this game to you. Uh, it's taken me a little while to actually get the setup. 
for this going, but I finally got it up and running, and this is gonna be great. I'm really, really, really looking forward to bringing this game to you. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna go to my options here, and I need to, okay, transcription scripts, that's good. I wish I could, I don't think there are subtitles in this. If there are, let me know and I'll get those up, but if not, you may have to just listen to what's going on, kinda like you did with Star Lancer, um, but that's completely fine. Okay, tool tips, rollover help, good, yes. Uh, transition scripts, auto high maneuver bar. Um, nah, I like to have the maneuver bar and then cockpit. Set. Yeah, we'll have that in there. Yeah, good. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, what I've gone through and done already is I've basically gone through and adjusted my buttons so that it's just like uh, Wing Commander. So that I'm, a, I'm much more comfortable, I'm much more comfortable wing, uh, using Wing Commander there. And I think I'm actually gonna, just my buttons. Well, yeah, no, no, I want to turn left and turn right. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so there's that. And uh, again, there's there's some default buttons if you want. Again, this is just what I'm going to do. This is not certainly anything that you that you have to do if you don't want to. Uh, but yeah, so fire my weapons, space bar, launch missile, entry, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward. Mines for M. Uh, torpedo, shift Q. Now, I'm going to have to... Uh, Oh, let's see, latch countermeasures. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, be ready, uh, tractor beam is gonna be very important actually in this game too. So, and you know what, I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do countermeasures as D. It's fine. Uh, okay, strafe right, I'm going to, yes, yeah, perfect, strafe right, perfect. Yep, okay, cool. Uh, user interface, don't want to do anything here, nanobot, shield battery, don't care. Yeah, T for target, which I like that. Uh, next, closest enemy, R. Remember that one. Closest memory is R. That's gonna be, that's gonna be good. Uh, do, we have, do we have a friendly target? Nope, that's all I don't care about. Okay. Very good. Very good. And that all looks good. Yep, multiplayer I'm not gonna do anything about. So you don't need to worry about that. Uh, some other things to remember are going to be, well, we'll go over that a little bit later. But Okay, very good. Performance, uh, yes. All right, very good. That all looks fine. And everything else looks fine. Okay, very good. Let's go back to the main menu. And let's begin a brand new game. Roger that. Call system show green. SA-14, you're cleared for departure. Acknowledge, Freeport 7. We'll see you in about two weeks. Two weeks. SA-14, we're picking up unknown contacts on long-range sensors. We're dispatching a fighter wing to escort you out of the system. Godspeed. All right. Navy Command, this is Freeport 7. We're picking up some strange trains on the long-range sensors. Get out of there. Nope. Turn out the game with a bang. Now there was 12 million bucks down the drain. Actually, it's probably more than that. It's probably like 12 billion dollars or something like that, but ugh. President Jacoby has asked the LSF to investigate the sudden destruction of Freeport 7. No word yet on whether it was accidental or a deliberate attack. The first handful of survivors arrived on Manhattan this morning. Oh, good. We're here for medical. Is there anyone seriously injured? One. Inside. Go get him, boys. Yeah, now we're in Manhattan, New York. Kind of clever. This is our main guy. Ooh. Make sure he lives. He owes me some credits. Your concern is touching. We'll do everything we can. It may take a while. Bitch, I want my money now! 
Officially, the Liberty Security Force maintains there is no proof Freeport 7's destruction was deliberate. But sources inside the LSF say they suspect the dangerous criminal organization, The Order. We will keep you up to date as the story develops. Dangerous criminal organization? I don't like that at all. Okay, so new objectives in Freelancer are displayed as you can see. Um, yeah, so this are, there's some different things here. Uh, NK you, or the N, you can display an objective there. And F5 or the star uh, list of, yeah, so that's all good stuff there. Okay, very good. All right, very, 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 very nice. Okay, so here we are in our, in our main place here. So let's take a look and see what we got here. So here you can go to the different areas and figure out where uh, where you want to go. And this is a commodity, so you can buy some different things if you want. If you want to buy new ships, you can go to the equipment dealer. Or sorry, uh, upgrade your ships, and you can get some new ships over here. Mission objectives and personal log entries, and look over here. And then the nav map, which, which we'll be using here in just a little bit. The inventory uh, displays information about you. So let's see how we're doing there. All right, so my reputation with the Liberty Police is... Yeah, pretty good, I guess. I'm friendly with them, so that's nice. And over here we have current information, so we can see where exactly we are. And we're in the New York system. So it looks like we're on Earth. Ooh, we got some ships we can sail. So we can buy there. And you can see the different commodities that you can sell and buy here. And also the different kind of weapons and stuff that you can get here. And we'll go over all of that stuff here in just a little bit. An important command that you want to know about is the main menu. So if you push F1, you can go here and you can save your game. And you can see I haven't saved a game yet. So I've, I've loaded a brand new one. So I'm going to call this VCS Buster 1. Very good. And there's also an autosave there. So you can load that if you want. Return to the main menu if you want. Delete save games if you want. Um, all that good stuff. So there you are. Oh, well, that autosave, I was doing some test runs earlier. Uh, just to make sure that my game was actually working. But it seems to be working just fine. So all is good now. Very good. Okay, well, there's not a whole lot that we can do right now. Let me just make sure that that is, in fact, correct. All right, yeah, so there's really not a whole lot we can do right now. So the first thing we want to do is go to the bar, like they said. Uh, you can see here the mission objectives there. Look for a job in the bar. And you can, if you want, there's a rod, a rod, a rod, log here. And I'll, uh, if you want, you can just pause this video and watch the log here. Scroll down here a little bit so you can see. 500 credits. I don't like that. There's that. And then there's just some different personal things here. Like I said, I'll just. If you want to pause the video and watch, you can. Not a big deal. Ooh, a million credits. I like that. Okay, and there you go. The Border Worlds? Wait a minute. This is in Wing Commander 4. So, anyway. There's that there, so if you want to pause and you can. Let's say we need to go to the bar. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's see what we got here. A Sidewinder Fang. All we have is Liberty Ale, friend. Fine. Her name's Junko Zane. She's a tough one. Oh, well, why's that? She's LSF. All business. If it's a job you're wanting, that is. On the other hand, if you're looking for something more... Well, the only thing I'm looking for right now is this drink. I know you. No. No, I don't think so. The news. I saw your face on the news. You're one of the Freeport 7 survivors, aren't you? Yeah. I heard it was pretty bad out there. You know, you're lucky to be alive. Ha. Huh. This one's on me, friend. It's the good stuff. Why? Because it's not every day a man has the chance to start again, huh? To your good fortune and liberty, sir. Well, it can't get any worse. Thanks. Oh, drinks on the house. Sweet. I like that. Okay. So basically when we go here in a room, you can 
just like most of these types of games, you can, if there's a person there, you can talk to them, uh, you can move to different rooms, or you can uh, use the different services in the room. So let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, so Junko Zane is who we need to talk to first. But yeah, so over here, you can look at jobs if you want, or you can look at the news. Yeah, and if you look at, and if you look around, there's some different people that we can talk to. So, okay, so Junko Zane is our, is the person that we need to talk to, but let's talk to some different people first. Let's talk to the bartender. Hey, freelancer. So, what'll it be? I'm not thirsty. Actually, I heard you're a man who knows things. You're a newcomer, aren't you? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I've heard a rumor going around. Interested? Go ahead. Okay, here's what's going on. Oh, I see. Reliable source that Chancellor Nyman had ordered the strike. Oh, interesting. Thanks for the heads up. Never know. Be seeing you. Good luck. Yeah, so you just start getting some information from people, so let's talk to this guy. Hello, what do you need? Have anything. You're a stranger here, right? Yeah, guess so. I see. I work for the Liberty Security Force. We may not own this place, but we do have a sizable stake in its operation. Well, if you must know, I have heard a rumor. Go ahead. Fine. This is what I heard. All right. Info purses for jump holes are usually offered at lower reputation than their rumors. Oh, I see. Well, you got to try and be good with the people in order to get cheaper info. That might come in handy. Thank you. Great. Be seeing you. Yeah, so as you can see, you know, you talk to the different guys and different people, and they give you information. So that can be kind of helpful. Hi. You looking for something? Anything for me? I don't know you. You new here? Uh-huh. Well, that all depends. I could have a good match here for you, Mr... I'm Trent. Ah, well, I work for the Liberty Security Force. We may not own this place, but we have a sizable stake in its operation. Well, if you must know, I have heard a rumor. Go ahead. Okay, here's what's going on. This is the last guy said, but oh well. Uh, Aurelian and his thugs. Well, I heard that name before, but I'm sure we'll never hear that name or see them again. Could be useful later. Thank you. Excellent. Good luck. Yeah, oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Okay, very good. Well, this is the person we need to talk to, Junko Zane. So let's go talk to her. I understand what you're saying, but I don't have nearly enough people. Juni, the environment has changed. Well, with groups like the Order taking more and more liberties, indeed now threatening our profits, some in the government feel that we need to increase our patrols in these areas. <laughs> you, Junko Zane? Yes? I believe you have business to discuss. Wait! I will leave this matter in your capable hands. Sorry. The bartender said you work for the Liberty Security Force. And who do you work for, Mr. Uh... Trent. I work for myself. What kind of ship do you have? I lost mine on Freeport 7. I see. Are you staying in Liberty long? I've got a friend who was injured in the attack. He's in medical. I'll be staying at least until he's released. Well, as it happens, I could use a good freelancer, Mr. Trent. I'll be in the equipment room later. You can meet me there. Oh, and if we are going to work together, call me Junie. Oh, she calling me Junko, eh? Yeah. Okay. Well, Junko Zane's at the equipment dealer, so let's go see what's going on over there. See if she can help us out. Hello? I'm pleased to see you. Are you ready to work for the LSF, Mr. Trent? It's just Trent. And yeah, I'm here to see what you have to offer. Well, I found this ship for you. It's very basic, and you won't have jump access yet, but it should be good enough for now. 
This assignment will be easy. All you have to do is babysit a convoy of food and medical supplies. You'll be hooking up with the escort CO King. I'll tell him to expect you. That is, of course, if you're interested. Oh. Uh, escort a convoy of food and medical supplies from Fort Bush to the mining colony on planet Pittsburgh. Oh, so I have to go from New York to Pittsburgh. Well, that shouldn't be too hard if I'm flying a ship. Eh, I don't really feel like it. I'll have to think it over. Fine with me if you want to hang around Manhattan, but I think I'm your best shot at getting a ship. I'll be here for a while in case you change your mind. Okay, that was really dumb. Give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna load a game. We're gonna say yes to that. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, we're actually gonna accept this mission because, well, it's easy and I need the money. Sounds good. I'm in. Good. Better get going. I'll have your ship moved immediately. All you'll have to do is go to the landing pad and launch. King will be waiting for you near the docking ring in space, okay? I'll see you when you get back. Thanks. All right! And now, and you can see actually here, so you can pause the game and all that good stuff. Whenever you launch in space, the game updates the current auto Oh, that's good. That's very, very, very cool. I like that. And you can see all the different information there. All right, very good. So now we get to launch into space. But what awaits us on this first mission? Can we successfully babysit the convoy? And why was Junko so quick to trust us and flirt with us? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. So then this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.